Hello everyone, today I will show you how to use the concept of Mixart Photoshop Action and before we get started let's view a few examples. With this action you need to open your main image and mark the subject to area and then mark the focus area. The focus area is the parts of the image where you want to keep the maximum amount of details and then run the action and wait for some time for the action to finish rendering. So this is the final effect that you will get after running the action with lots of uh, elements to customize, lots of color layers and splatter elements, print textures which you can modify after the action has finished rendering. We'll get into those details after we run the action. Here are a few more examples. This is the subject selection, this is the focus area and this is the final result. Here is another variation of the same image with a different gradient overlay. Let's view some more examples. The pack contains 5 print patterns but you can also use your own custom patterns in place of these print textures. Okay, now let's get started. We'll use this image for our example and before we get started we need to take care of a few things. First go to image mode and make sure RGB color and 8 bits per channel are selected. Then click this flyout menu and select panel options and make sure you use default masks on fill layers and that copy to copy layers and groups are selected. Now uh, about the image size, it is recommended to use a high resolution image for better clarity of the final effect. Your image should be ideally between 2000 to 4000 pixels along the smaller axis be it width or height and you can keep resolution of 72 to 300 whatever you like but you can keep a higher resolution for better clarity. Next you uh, need to change your background image to a background layer like if this is a background a lock layer like the one that you're seeing over here you can double click on it and once this new layer prompt comes you need to change it into a standard layer but you need to rename it as background all in lower case make sure your layer name background is in lower case otherwise the action will not work properly now uh, let's uh, load our files to do that go to file open and navigate to the download package there select the make concept mixer brushes concept mixer pattern and concept mixer photoshop action and click open now go to window actions and you can see that the action has been loaded into your actions panel now your brushes and patterns should also be loaded but you can verify it like this go to edit presets preset manager and under your brushes you will see the concept mixer brushes are loaded and also you can go to patterns and you can see that your concept mixer pattern is also loaded over here. Now uh, we need to uh, take care of one very important thing and that is select your brush tool and make sure your mode is normal, your opacity is 100%, your flow is 100%. These three parameters must be set like this for the action to work properly. Now let's make our subject and focus area selections. To do that select your background layer and click this new layer icon and 
this new layer you need to rename it to subject again subject should be in lower case for the action to work properly now I'm selecting this background layer and I'm using quick selection tool to quickly mark out my subject you can use any other method that you want be it pen tool magic wand or you can simply trace it out but I recommend that this subject selection should be as crisp as you can get okay now with my subject area selected I'll select the subject layer and then fill it with any color Deselect the selection and now I'll mark the focus area. Focus area is the parts of the image where I want to keep the maximum detail, like face or specific parts of the clothing, hands. So we need to create another new layer above this subject layer and rename it as focus. Make sure focus is in lowercase. Now uh, I'm taking a soft round brush. You can take the brush first brush inside the brush pack. So it's recommended to use a soft round brush to mark the focus area. So I'm taking another color. And marking the area where I want to have the maximum amount of detail. Make sure you are marking on the focus here. So with that time, this is how it should look. At the very pillar, you should have your background layer all in lowercase, then your subject layer again in lowercase, and at the top you should have your focus layer. Now with that done, you can simply select the action according to your Photoshop version and hit play. But again before you run the action, make sure your brush opacity and flow are set to 100% and mode is normal. So I'm selecting this action and clicking play. The action will take some time to finish processing, so we'll come back when it's done. The action has finished rendering and this is the final effect. Now let's go into details about the different elements that are created as the action is completed. So at the very bottom we have the background elements. Here we have the paper texture, you can turn it off if you want a smoother approach of the background. And here we have the background color. You can double click it and simply change the color of the background. On top of it we have the background gradient. You can simply make it visible and you can change the color or the angle from here or you can enable the hue saturation and you can change the hue saturation to affect it like this you can also combine the color changing from here to add it on top of the hue saturation next we have the image background color so what it does is it creates the base of color under the image like as you can see from here you can see the bluish background appearing below the image so you can turn it on and the parts of the image where you have marked the focus area so you'll have that part of the image masked out here so that you can change the color as you like
Next we have the background additional elements. Here we have the dots. You can paint on the layer mask with black to hide parts of the dots. Like this. Or you can again paint with white to reveal them. Next we have some random hatching, some random hatching around the background. Then we have color spread. The color bleed around the background parts of the image. Next we have image hatching. You can also make some parts of the hatching show around the image by simply painting here with white like this and also you can hide them if you want you can paint it with black on this layer mask then we have some scribble elements like this one there are some strange scribbles which are scattered around the image you can simply toggle them on and off or paint with layer mask to hide or show them Next we have uh, the background pattern. You can change the pattern by simply double clicking it. It will open a smart object edit window and over here you can place one of the patterns that are provided in the package or you can simply add your own pattern. You just need to place the pattern over here and edit and align it as you want. And then you just need to save this smart object and close it. Once you close it, you will see that it has automatically been updated into your main image like this. You can also change the color tone of this pattern by enabling this pattern color and changing the color from here again you need to save it and once you close it you will see that it has been updated I'll undo this part and continue next we have the core image elements so here we have the shadows the midtones the highlights and the details so let's go one by one here we have three shadow layers. One is shadow base. You can hide parts of it or you can select the layer mask and paint it black to hide parts of this shadow base to create a more dramatic and unique look. You can do the same with the shadow base. Next we have the shadow splatters. Same goes for the midtones. We have the midtones base, the midtone base darker, and the midtone splatter. Again we have the highlights here, the highlights base, the highlights base darker, and the highlights splatter. Same goes for all these layers. You can simply paint on the layer mask with black to hide parts of the image or paint with white to reveal them. Then we have the details, here we have the broad details which are the main bulk of the details and we have two fine details layer. Same goes for these layers also, you can paint on the layer mask with black to hide parts of the image and also paint with white to reveal them. Then we have the white splatters. And here we have thin color effects. You can simply apply this color effect by toggling them on or off. Next we have our overall adjustment. We have our overall brightness and contrast. We have our overall levels.
we have our roll cards overall hue saturation overall gradient map you can change the gradient map like this overall gradient fill you can also change the gradient fill color and the angles and here we have our overall color fill so you can simply double click here and change the color to apply this on the overall image Now all the elements over here are generated at random so you can simply delete this group and again run the action and you'll get a whole new sets of effects applied onto your image. So that's it for the concept mix art photoshop action. Hope you like this one. See you soon.